Hi friends, this is Ramna. Today I will show demo on how to load multiple XML files into SQL tables using SSIs. First I will show my table here. So D drive files test archive folder. I have two XML documents. See here. Person data 1 and person data 2 XML documents. So if you right click and edit notepad plus plus. So you will see 700 records are there in one document, one XML document. And then second one it is again open with notepad plus plus. You will see 1000 records are there. Now I want to load both these 1700 rows into this table. XML underscore load. Right now we don't have any data into this table. So I want to load 1700 rows into this table. By using SSS package, new package, before that we need to create three variables. First one is file extension. File extension. So what is the extension type we need to load? So I, I want to load star dot star dot XML. This is my extension. So second one is file path. file path string data type so I am selecting the path of this file you can take any file so I am taking the first one copy the path and paste it in this value and next one is source path source path is nothing but where the files are located, the folder address. So here I am taking this, this path, paste it in there. So these are the three variables, other variables I created. So if you want to load, if you want to read multiple files from any folder, obviously we used to we use that uh, container called for each loop container. So I am taking the courage of container, double click to configure, go to collection and select the enumerator called for each file enumerator and you need to write the two expressions here. First one is the directory. We already gave the created one path called source path. I am taking this path as expression, evaluate value can get this address and second one is specific file spec so here I gave the I created one variable called extension file extension so I am taking this variable and evaluate the expression click ok so go to variable mappings and select the file path and click so inside the for each loop container you need to drag the data flow task data flow task double click to read the data from the xml file you need to use the xml source so for text file and csv file we can we use the file that file source so for xml file we need to use the this file <coughs> xml source double click to configure and select the data and browse the location where it is located I need to select from variable it's a file path and generate the it is automatically generated this XSD contains the information about the about your file go to column and ignore this warning message, click OK. You need to select the destination table. Where are you destination? Just connecting the source to destination. Double click. Select your database. So a sample is my database. I'm selecting. So I already shown the table. You will have new fast load. I'm selecting. So I'm 
selecting the table name is XML, XML underscore load. Okay. Go to mappings. No need to do any manual mapping. Everything is mapped automatically. The final step you need to do here is so in flat file source or in CSV file while loading the CSV file, we use it to write an expression called connection string. Now in this scenario, we will write an expression for XML source XML data. Okay. Okay. Now all set. So once you run the package. All 1700 rows from the two XML documents are dumped into this table. Okay. Actually, once again, there is no data into this table. So, I am going to run the package. The package runs successfully. Go and check your table. See here. 1700 rows are dumped into this. So, this is how you need to load the multiple XML files into your SQL table. First, you need to create three variables extension, file extension, and file path and source path. So, next, configure your for each loop container and take the for each file enumerator and write an expression for source directory, for directory, and file spec. File spec is nothing but here example the dot, dot xml so uh, go to variable mappings and select file path and data pro task so here you have to use the xml source so once you selected the file path so automatically xsd generated automatically clicking and it saved the xsd in the same path you see after earlier we, we don't have any xsd after generating the XST, it will save the, the XST document. This XST document contains XML file information. So go check your columns. It shows some warning message. Just ignore the message and click OK. And as usual, take the void destination and load the data. The only thing you need to write in the last step in, the, in this package to write an expression for XML like what we did in connection string in case of text documents and CSV files. You need to, you need to write an expression for XML source dot XML data. For this property you need to write an expression and drag the file path and execute your file. So this is how you need to, you need to load multiple XML files into the SQL table. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.